Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Today we're on a wintry map. We are on, I think, Bitter Winter is the map name. Um, and in the top right, we've got Chooser with the USA laser in the yellow color. And then in the south, um, southwest, we've got um, Hello with the USA Vanilla in the red. I don't really know who either of these players are, so I'm not sure how high a level it's going to be. But um, remember, not every replay is going to be super high level. We are going to um, cast some of the lower level ones as well. This map is pretty cool. Um, it's one of the original official maps by EA Games. You've got a main supply in the base for both players. Then you've got a secondary expansion for both players, which is kind of here or here. So second and third. And then second and third for that player as well. And then you've got this other supply here, which is kind of your fourth supply that you might want to fight over. Each of these players are almost worth 4k, I think. 3,750. So there is a little bit of cash there. Almost 16k. It's got a drop from both players. Um, Hello's drop is much, much faster. I'm not sure how Chooser is going to react to this. His Chinook is just kind of chilling here. He's dropped off a missile defender inside of that building. The reaction from Chooser there, not fast enough, not even remotely fast enough. And his Chinook has gone down. Chooser is getting inside of some of these um, garrisonable buildings. Um, Chooser's Dozer looks like he's going to go down. Almost escape, but it does just go down. Um, Hello is not defending his Chinook either, and that is a laser lock. Chinook gone down for him as well. Only one Chinook remains for um, Chooser, so I'm not sure if he just lost one here or not as well. Maybe. Chinook is going back for Hello, and that is his only collection point, so his only um, money um, collector at the moment. There is another one now. He's dropped off a missile defender in his base, and the game has slowed down a little bit. Both players not on much economy because they have lost um, each of their own Chinooks. A drone is killed in Hello's base, so no more scouting for Chooser. Although Hello... Sorry, Chooser does have a good map vision and can see this coming because he has these two buildings here. But he doesn't have very much at home to defend against this one V that is coming now. This is a fully loaded V, by the way. That's getting awfully close to the missile defenders and there's no laser lock coming out of um, Chooser's gameplay. He could have killed that V there, but he didn't. So a little bit back and forth between these Vs so far. Hello is still only on um, two Chinooks, one supply. Choose is now on three Chinooks with two supplies. This V looks like it's going to get in. Um, and Chooser is going forward with a half-dead V. This V is now in. And because he's got five missile defenders in there, these uh, Chinooks might go down very, very quick. Needs to move them out of the way very, very fast. Which he is doing. Um, all of the Chinooks now a bit moved. Not sure if he needs to move all of them. And Chooser's Dozer is going down. <clears throat> this is last Dozer. This is a bit of a weird game with very few uh, units on the map. There's a Ranger inside of there as well. He should now be able to target that um, supply center. And he should be able to kill that pretty, uh, pretty well. Nice laser load this time, and the V does go down. Needs to be careful with this V here. Chooser does. V is going to go down, so V's lost on both sides there. Maybe you could say unnecessarily. Snooks are finally coming back to start collecting. Chooser having to move his infantry out of the way. Hello, still has two doses. Looks like he's going to try and build a second supply as well with the uh, two point. 3-ish K that he had. He has just invested it in something though. But it's not a supply center because no no supply center is dropped down. 
Gotta remember there is a missile defender inside of there. So what I personally would be doing at this point, don't think you need two ambulances, but I would be getting the tow missile upgrade, fully loading these, and then sending them across the across the map. It's made an Avenger. Not sure you need an Avenger. Flashbang's now up from Chooser, and he has cleared out these garrisons. He's still collecting with three Chinooks over here, though. Uh, yeah, one has been pulled now, so he's going to be collecting on second supply. This is a bit of a weird and slow game. I suppose the only downside to this map is because the bases are so far apart. Um, players are really a lot more reluctant to um, leave their base and attack. Because as you go through the middle, the enemy could easily come through the left. Uh, as you go through the middle, he could come through the right. As you come through the right, he could come through the middle and, and so on. So, yeah, the bases are wide open. Uh, this Chinook here is not going to be able to collect. I personally would have cleared out that and killed it. So I, would on, I was on two supplies. But instead, he's just kind of invested the money and left it. His Avenger is still chilling. Uh, but the, the Avenger is a thing that he needs. There's only one missile defender in here, though, so I think if he just engages it, he probably could beat it. But four missile defenders are coming to the rescue. And Red is doing a good job just getting out of there. Don't really want him to be engaging four missile defenders that are going to laser lock one of your Vs. Even with the Avenger, that's probably not going to work out for you, so... You can use the Avenger here, though, to clear these garrisons. Even though I thought... Oh, no, he doesn't have flashbangs. The other guy that has flashbangs. Uh, loads of missile defenders dropped off from Chooser, but no laser lock, no instant laser lock uh, from him. So the whole army for Hello is still alive. The garrison there is slowly uh, being picked off. More missile defenders unloaded, and that first V is going to go down even without the laser lock. And Red is forced away. Needs to be careful though, because that Avenger can still go down to a, to a laser lock with four missile defenders. Choose has now got quite a bit of stuff out. No second Chinook on that other supply. He does have enough money for it. And did he just build his own Avenger? I don't know. I thought he clicked on his own Avenger. I thought I saw it there at the bottom right, but maybe not. Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> okay, so a little bit of a slowdown. A little bit of a slow game all round, really. I think Red knows that Yellow is moving out now because he's got the drone in the base. So he must have seen the V's going left. You can see that the tire tracks ended fr roughly there. You can actually see the tire tracks as they're disappearing. You see they're disappearing there. Massive load of V's now from Chooser getting in the base of... Um, Hello. He's also got a V going down the right side with missile defenders in there as well. So really just park there and he's going to cause the damage. Power plant going down. Um, it's maybe a base trade situation here. Hello's choosing to ignore his base and just go straight to the enemy base instead. Those are picked off. These Chinooks are going to get picked off as well, I would imagine. That Dozer probably doesn't have much of a chance. It's going to be all of the action happening right now. Hello has dropped down a scaffold. Um, that is his last dozer, and it has gone down. There's no other scaffold placed down. But Hello is um, throwing this game away, really. I'm sure he was at a massive advantage, but... Now his whole base is getting wrecked. And that scaffold, I don't think, has been spotted. So Hello is now going to start killing the base of Chooser. And remember, Chooser doesn't have any dozer. Laser Lock is now coming in. This is pretty epic, Laser Lock now, compared to how slow it was before. Um, losses on both sides, but I feel like red is still coming out on top. And this base is going to um, start taking some punishment. War Factory is the first thing to go down. The Chinooks have all gathered at the scaffold on the right side. 
Chooser is choosing to go back to his base. To try and desperately defend this. He doesn't have any Avengers of his own though, so... He might not succeed in killing these Vs that are also vetted up now, by the way. There's two ambulances there as well. Especially if he goes one by one into this. Needs to try and pick off these Avengers. He's going to ride straight into it. One ambulance is going to go down. This is going to end up very, very close, actually. Losses on both sides. V going down, V going down there. Red's V going down. And needs to be laser lock here from Red. That V is awfully close to going down, but no laser lock. If he'd have laser locked that V and move that missile defender then back to save it, I think he could have won, but I think he's lost now. I don't think he's got any units left. Yeah, I don't think he's got anything left. It's um, that scaffold, which is about to die, by the way. Chooser's going to find it. And the scaffold's gone down, and Hello has gone down, and his Chinook has also uh, gone down. Black Hawk down. Um, so yeah, a bit of a weird game, that. Um, definitely not the highest caliber of players, definitely not the highest level. A little bit slow, you could tell that kind of straight away from both losing um, Chinooks early on. They were both only collecting with like one Chinook at one point as well. Um, um, the, dro the drops in the beginning from Choose are a little bit weird, like dropping uh, missile defenders everywhere where there wasn't any um, Chinooks to kill or anything like that. You want to be prioritizing killing the Chinooks. Who cares about garrison in a building where there's nothing nearby? You want to, in the early game, drop them um, and kill some uh, Chinooks as early as possible. Um, but yeah, so who won in the end? Who won? It was Choose who won. Um, but yeah, hello. I f felt like I had a really good chance like in the mid game, but then he, cho he chose to make Avengers. And then he chose to go and do the base trade situation when he was already... You already had dozers when the enemy didn't have dozers. He could have dropped down fire bases. He could have just spread missile defenders around. Um, he could have also just used the su superior micro to try and defend against those Vs that were coming into his base. Although Chooser did do a nice multi-pronged attack where he attacked with the massive army of Vs down the left side. But then down the bottom right, he sent one full V there as well. And that dozer hunted red. So... Um, yeah, a bit of a weird game, but at least it was off Tournament Desert. A bit of a wintry map uh, that is bitter winter. Um, so yeah, GG. Well played to both players. But especially um, Chooser pulling out the uh, victory there at the end. So yeah, well played, GG. And see you in the next one, guys.